Welcome to Bishop Dr. Colin Yaki's podcast. Bishop Dr. Colin is an author and also mega church pastor. He is the founder and presiding bishop of Harvest Stars International Churches, with the headquarters being based in Bilo, Zimbabwe, overseeing over 800 churches across the continent. And now, let's listen to a message from Bishop Dr. Colin Yaki. Be blessed. To each other, relish now. You will see one word that clearly indicates that this church was so relational that if you walked into this church or in that particular church, you will feel at home. It's very important, Bazalwane, when someone is new, walks in here, they feel like, you know what? These people act as if they know me. When we do that, you'll find that they will want to come again. People have no friends outside. So when they come to the house of God, they should find good friends here. They could find someone who will say, Hi, how are you? How are you doing? How was your day? And so forth. Practice with your neighbor right now and say, How are you? How are you doing? And what is your name? Mm. What is your name? So they were relational. Where do I find that? I will read a few scriptures for you so that you will see this one word, one accord. Say one accord. Acts 1 verse 14. It reads, These all continued with one accord in prayer and in supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Say one accord. Touch your neighbor's shoulder gently and say one accord, Moana. One accord, one accord. What a church. I would have loved to belong to such a church. Acts 2, verses 1 and 46. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, again they were all with one accord in one place. Watch verse 46. Verse 46 says, So continuing daily, can you imagine their church was daily? Yeah, when we are doing on a Sunday, we choose the Avele, Azrikati Church, Katsongi State Church, Katikamuns is a low church. These people, <laughs> these people were in church daily. Mm, daily. But we see a pig of our eye never ends in Babui, Banganis and Sevisiala. But we daily. When I should tell you. So ten years to bishop yeah to preach along. Yes, Carissa eight, Scatins Pumemo two two, Motu in Zago keep a lina mo for Ebu Suk Unke Nuxen. Say one accord. Come, gentlemen, come and take your seat. Say one accord. One more time, say one accord. And they continue daily with one accord in the temple. In the temple. And breaking bread from house to house. So they had home groups as well. And they ate from house to house. Manjo and Anga, the parents in Yako. Nisa invite her, Jaludin's old engineer. Gambia and Nuzo is a quesit in Yako. Eh, I'm a cube quiz. Um, Fund is a chonel up a sure. Catabonti patchy tete, I seven. Minantala, Mamma Lapa, we are born with Jesus in Zim. And I say chonel to Lilikonab. Catism taking a fillet last week. Catism taking a fillet would die. Catty church by the only day. I, Babin and Michan, the crazy chang out. Breaking bread from house to house. They ate their food with what? Gladness and simplicity of heart. Babin, I show you off. We have any simplicity. Come and suckle over to who's a woman in Kiam. We should cut by the way, Motem, we won't need any part. <laughs> so this was specially imported from America. Persian calf. Persian rag. Persian rag. We also want to pet from to pet alone. We king size. He's not a good, but I'm from the every two of my king size a bedroom. But I don't want to know. Yeah, it's don't need a bathroom. It was in this one. I saw simplicity of art. Yeah, I see you. Leon. 
With what? Simplicity of heart. One accord. Say it with me. One accord. Acts 4 verse 32. Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart. That's the same word. Were of what? One heart. And one soul. Aish. Neither did any say that any of the things he possessed was his own. Mina Jewish scripture lesson as pillar. Nya tekin kangi le lava ngani bali just amachuela is lana. Nte tama ring lanu ya kumbuti nye tu soke. Ime klian. Hey, listen, listen. Hey, yes, it's soke. Hey, let's see. As if we don't practice a conoc, and he, oh, Joey Malizian, a joy, oh, which on Barocana, more way to song. Hey, one soul, neither did any say that any of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm so going to walk. Now, this church, despite their varying racial background, despite their different tribes, different standings in society, these guys were known as one church. <laughs> Mina, a true church is a church that is the rich people and the poor people together. <laughs> because the rich people will cause the poor to be elevated. <laughs> and the rich people will be balanced when they see how sober the poor people live. So together, Uchamba Gunjar. Aba Fundilega Kula Bala PhD or VHD, Bethanganala, Aba Gala VHD. That's what this church was like. It was a dynamic church. They remained virtually unanimous in everything they did because they were led by the Holy Spirit. In other words, there was unity in diversity. Say Amen. What is Babenga koto lava salo ya lava. Babenga pumeko story chepucha. Manjo ni ya koto la mzaloane. We are kind of merele minuti nzogu chisi salapa every Sunday, every Tuesday. Ntwilinzi. Kumene nchai overdrive. Kuti nze kuchabulisi. But we will kind of mzaloane wame. May you be vibrant in the name of Jesus Christ. So there was vibrance. The early church radiated an enthusiastic happiness the word with gladness. When I, when I won't say a little man to my roots on daily, hey, say a lot of people, I'm born with all our clean good say, who's on daily, and you got me and to my and to my love, Jim. You to my love, which I love my paper, my plastic, but when I would say, you win, hey, upon the loose on deal and was with you on delay, Kumbulaba Tala, but this church received the word with gladness. Say it with me. Say gladness. There is another verse there. Continuing verse 46. Daily with one accord in the temple breaking bread, house to house, they ate their food. With what? With gladness. What a church. What a vibrant church. If you join this church, you would want to belong. Baby ate a job with we are going to to vibrate. Hey, this is cuckoo. Look, we vibrate. Our room to vibrate. We have room. Mezira to mzoni la nikokisho. Who vibrant? This is cuckoo. Who vibrant? We are zulumga king. We are chabula nje umuntu wakona na imide la pana unga zamano ulita njo ugenzo ngoku la pana short. Hey, we are a little bit of 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 a 
All my stories are true. All my stories are true. Amen. So, sing a tata wing, Ogolo antiquise and Ogolo Sisikuku. So, gain is in a chisa. He vibrates in anything. If you see yourself being missed by people when you are not around, you know you are vibrant. Yeah, they are missing that element in you. But when you are not around, she says, after three months, you are not around. You are not around. You are not around. You are not around. But you are not around. You are not Wow, wow, wow. One of them is Gio. One of them is Banengi Patabanjalo. What do you pick it here? You come to be a young Sandy. What do you pick it here? You come to be a young Sandy. Hey, very true. You know, we take it for granted. Who pick it here? I say it as a Zompola, who come as Zompola. Who pick it here? He gift. Hey. Sikaliza civil first week la bakati katum tala loyeza loge to babat. Ebatu itabenga ba yigin. Sen confess a bakati katum tala loyeza lo. But katis I look forward. Mwa la pasi kola kuzusera ngale kuzegu e figa ngale. Let's put our hands together for Brigadier. So Brigadier, we missed you. Angenga chukutum gaku si misile but we na we na we missed you. Ngale angas. Say Amen. What a vibrant church, ladies and gentlemen. Acts 11, verse 23. When he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad. Hey, and encouraged them all that with one purpose of heart they should continue with the Lord. What a vibrant church. Acts 13, verse 48. Now, when the Gentiles heard this, even the Gentiles, how we are, we are so glad. See a chabulu tinga utola iche change in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is not easy. The economics of Zimbabwe is not easy at all. But if you walk into a place and find a glad people, we get glad by salang up. Aba bunu uti zesa gaiku aisi glad iti. Aba wunu kuti ikuya short alabani zinto. Si glad no mazi short. Talk to your neighbor and say, I'm so glad. Yeah, touch their shoulder and say, hey, I said I'm so glad. Aba nye babu ya be wachama hora mufi zebu su. Babu ya be nga chabula. Banga figala po kumele babu wunu kuti we glad. Say amen. Aba nye babu ya liwe nga bo mranda babu. It's a long slang for 1964. What to mranda? Hey, hey. We are sad. This is normal. 1965 is the name. So, how about you? My belly will ask for the church. Also, we don't tell you when the church. But we may be But we may even get the church and find us glad. Lift up your hands and say, "I'm so glad." One more time, I'm so glad. Jesus saved me. One more time, I'm so glad. Jesus saved me. Suguman, Suguman, one more time. I'm so glad that Jesus saved my life. I am so glad that I'm well in body, in mind, in spirit, in my soul. Everything about me is whole and complete. Every part of my body functions in the perfection in which God created it to function. In this body, I forbid any malfunction in the name of Jesus. Every organ from my heart to my liver to my pancreas to my intestines and all other parts I can't mention they are functioning in the perfection in which God created them to function. Put your hands together like the devil is a liar. Hey! Please take your seats. The 
people were a glad people, full of vibrant joy. And therefore, they were magnetic. They could attract people. We're talking of growth. We're talking of church growth. These are key things. Evangelism was one thing. But these are meant for one and one, for visitors that come in. When we act like that, things are going to change. I must say I was greeted mightily this Sunday. So the people were glad, full of vibrant joy. Number three, they were reverent. Now, reverent is not the person who wears a collar, no. The word reverent means they had holy fear, holy awe, holy respect. Can you see one thing? At times, you can't put these two words together. You can't put a vibrancy with holy fear. They don't go to hand in hand. Yeah. But their vibrance, their gladness did not make them irreverent. Ah, they knew how to balance. Hey, I must put I and I'm cool, cool. I, I, no. They knew exactly to be joyful in the Lord, but to maintain holy fear at the same time. Watch this balance. What's this balance? Give me scripture. Holy fear came upon every soul. Acts 2 verse 43. Then fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done. Now that fear is not fear as you would know fear. It's not fear like fearing a reptile, a snake, or no. This was holy reverence. They feared and respected and honored God. Acts 5. Especially when God did this in Acts chapter 5. Verses 5, 11 and 13. Verse 5. Then Ananias, hearing these things, these words, fell down and breathed his lust. So great fear came upon all of them. So Ananias it's not that they put, they failed to put all the money. No. It's that they lied. That they pretended to be putting all the money. And they died. Hey. While there was gladness, So the balance? Can you imagine? I want to be a table and then I'm going to be a table. But I continue to be a table. I could watch a little off it, but we chabu la jehudi. Kulun 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 kulun. E pongola bantu kulun kulun. La bo pongola bantu ikapo. Hmm. Mister or Missus. Kwata la wafiku bani. Mister. Eh. What chabu lu Mister? What chabu lu Mister? Pito se mbuzguti. Little ni zoi ndo kena onchele ya. Ukutinjulizeleuzi <laughs> Look what one thing about a tolling is that woman and a pusa. If I show you a killer and I was by one in a church, what I am nigging a ladder, when I won't enjoy it. Let's not never. Quem me would use me the damning it in Gena or Peter Bambo and about in corn. One gain, oh, Peter was it so dear, Mamma, who is Chilla Chilla, eh? Angazo Mamma Ampachi, one booze about Petrut. Can't you? Little is so inutility. What did you clean so civil? Little is so stings it, eh? Stings it. Big pants. 
then fear came. Ananias hearing these words fell. Let's read verse 11. So great fear came upon all the church and upon all who heard these things. Next verse. Yet none of the rest dared to join them, but the people esteemed them highly. Say amen. Acts 9 verse 31. Then the churches throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria had peace and were edified. Walking in what? Walking in what church? In the fear. Walking in the fear of the Lord. And in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. But watch this way, church growth. They were what? They were what? They were multiplied. They are no longer being added. Multiplication has kicked in. The church is growing. Mama Mbopov. The church is growing. Say amen. They were multiplied. What a church in Jerusalem. This was an intense awareness of God's awesomeness. Number four. They were focused. As I think I thought it is. Focused on Jesus. Nothing could move them. Just focused on Jesus. When you are focused on Jesus, I Oman para lava vele abaku pambanis. Lava lava ba tuali sinye we church abaku abaku pam. Vele ba sondela. Beti me kuru mutkati anzwa gana pa rubusi tin. Na mesek kwa ngwe chase. Usafik kwa sa nye. Aku la ntuel lula njo ngo chayum zalono nye. Unga chodi zetu unga stopu nye. Yene nye rubusi tin. Katu eni fezi le anu tin ngai. A pete futi uti katu ahumbo dangu tu rochu be. Rubusi tika ti. U chase na pa nwe sitin. Le pa. They were focused. Oh, they were focused. Let me show you the word that shows that they were focused. The word is steadfast. Write it down. Say steadfast. They continued steadfastly. Acts 2, verse 42. And they continued steadfastly. Where? In the apostle doctrine or teaching and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in what? In prayers. What a church. Acts 7 verse 55. It is the same focus that caused Stephen not to feel stones thrown at him. Now watch this. They are killing the guy. The guy is not feeling that they are killing him. Hey. When about when you hear what about you hear? He never felt the pain. Watch it. Let's prove it. Acts 7, 55. But he being full, he being what? Full of the Holy Spirit. Gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And you know what he said? Let lay not this charge upon them. Never did he scream, No! He saw Jesus. <laughs> hey. What a man. He saw who? Jesus. If you want your problems to be minimized, see Jesus. If Jesus is magnified, everything else around you is minimized. If you focus on your problems, Jesus in your life will be minimized. Your problems will be magnified. Try it every time when you have a problem. Don't focus on what you don't have. The money that you don't have. Focus on Jesus, the giver, and everything else. There used to be a song that we used to sing. Turn your eyes 
upon Jesus, looking in his wonderful eyes. And all these things will grow strangely dim. Strangely dim. As you focus on Jesus. As you focus, say focus. Say it one more time, say focus. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. Hallelujah. Don't look at anybody. magnified. limitations. But if you pass through and look unto Jesus, I one plus one. Where by two, looking unto Jesus. Say it with me. Say, I'm looking unto Jesus. I one more time. Say, I'm looking unto Jesus. One more time. Say, I'm looking unto Jesus. You may say the unemployment. You may say hardship. But if you shift your gaze and look unto Jesus, because you are fixed unto Jesus. Say amen. Lift up your hands and say, I am looking unto Jesus. Look, Apostle Paul, Acts 14 verse 9. This man heard Paul speaking. Paul observing him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed. This man was so focused until he got healed. Say amen. Hallelujah. So this describes their constant focus on these four things. A, B, C, and D. These four things. They will focus on the word. There's nothing that will lift you up more than the word. That's why you must have the Bible. All new people here have the Bible. Because the Bible will help you to focus. But they will focus on fellowship. Don't run, please. It's particular on the sand. bullet train. train. Stay. Fellowship. Find five people. One of them you may need. Yeah. Oh, they may need you. Talk to them. Fellowship. Covenant meals. Hey, Jesus, as cool as you are, my covenant meals. Mind you, these days even in China, Barcelona. But these days, so on, auntie. You can invite someone in space. No one from Upeg. It's cheap, you mean, Lapan? Just come and join me in space. But you can very good. It's just food, three dollars, four dollars. Eh. Um taking Lunyao, La Ulunyao, at Lama Chips, Unyao Lama Chips. Kumbe Kumbe Kangola, Pai Kangola, eh? I'm a musician, Zaran Kenangu Kang, weren't you? Two weeks ago. Eh? But Kenu Kango by Chai Kang. But if Nikango would in his own energy, would he pay him Kotwe, Nanti? He could not work one. Uzulu navigate kwa lapa na kula bantu ba, ba ba mesile ra, ay ay ay, mina lingo lene yekangwe mkotwende ay ay, ay, anga sio, pati ya unga tuala la baba ifuna yekangwe mkotwende hambala, ba kuno ba ba la baba icha yekangwe mfungu ba kuruma, mwa baba bantu ba tiki fight kakul, otherwise ba stopu kucha ith, eh, ba ni ba kula ba ngale. But says God, by Tandi Kangu, hey, but I assess. So an intercession. So prayer was key. Prayer meetings were very key. 
Look at how many we are on a Sunday. Turn around and look at how few we are. Bang up, Baba, and you can't do it. Bang up. I'm a musician. I tell you, I'm telling you, I'm going to be a Sunday. Let's give it a second. We are standing up here on a Sunday. We are going to be a Sunday. Turn to your neighbor. I'm a musician. I'm going to be a Sunday. I'm going to be a Sunday. I'm going to be a Sunday. Hey. 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 Number five, they were unselfish. They were what? Unselfish. I will read scripture for you to see how this church was a mature church. Yet young church, but very mature. Unselfish. Listen to this, Acts 2, 44. Now all who believed, all who did what? All who did what? Were together and had all things in common. These were newly born again. Veteran, Jengan, newly born again. They decided, you know what? What I have, I must share. Hey, but he lays his cock as your calculator and she, ah, we share. Ah, we share. He pella says, a deal is yeah, yes, he meets. Like, as I feel, like all every eight churches, yeah, yes. They had all things in common, all things in common. They could identify a need. That's why I'm teaching you here. Bring something to bless someone. You are starting there. It could be a small thing, but you will go far. Acts 4, 32 to 35. All things in common. Now, it reads, The multitude of those who believed were of what? One heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own. But they had all things in common. See, I super the same scriptures here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And verse 33 And with great power The apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus And great grace Was upon them all Verse 34 Nor was there anything Nor was there Anyone among them who lacked Ah Hey Asimen Konapana Anyone among them who lacked <laughs> So, Baba Kangilan, Katuasuela, Usuelan, Angla South, Nanti South. Hallelujah. Eh, Namkanjan Lanyama, Nancy Nyam. Eh, Angla Pasfe, Nancy Pasfe. Eh, Kwa Kotola, Angla Akama Jacket, Nancy Akama Jacket. Eh, Lavate, Isao Yakama, Lavaka, Milavati. Ah, Setting Yakama Ulaman, Nancy Akam. But can you learn a lesson? Really, lesson, but how? Sis, the week is it? You know, Gangan and his looks and cook. Nancy week. Can any week you want to work on a week? Can you look at this person? What you got to week is it? You know, apparently. You will learn about your watch or your overnight. I watch your sip. I forget Google. Yeah, she will be sure. Yes, she will. We won't realize if you know who was it. It didn't even. I didn't say it didn't even mean. So, you can't get it. You can't get it. And then he help your fellow sister. เออเฮียอีเมคอัพแล้วว่าท่านดีเมคอัพอุทโธบุมุญงบบัญญัติฟรุงไปปังกองปามาลิซัดอุทเอาตัวไปกางกุศลเองเงินเงินอุทิกุ
don't you feel good something in the name of Jesus. Consider the ability of the early church to take care of each other. What a church. They knew how to take care of each other. I Manchester Labo Pagat Great Lab. Ogmele Wena Lami Lawe Swakangel. Quietly Mdenga Boninje, Umbam is something with Tengusis. Uma was a sum don't allow ability to give you back. You feel satisfied. Uma Tingi Lava is Marila. Eh, Lava Kasmula, I love a In fact, by yes, Sibanda Kungab, Katupongi, P. Shellen, eh, by yes. We are true in Calagatis is as he green as he orange as he says, in Calabi and a pocket. Eh, not ye, Lapaza Holis, not in Fulado. So, my pum to my hat was about cooking the lava. Ababa was sitting a cool. Nabasum Lilo, my cheese. I'm jelling a pumps to Lena Jerati. Um, to encourage my figure. <laughs> so they didn't wait for the care ministry to bless. They didn't wait for compassion ministry. No. They themselves saw the needs and blessed each other. I tell you, when the church begins to be like this, God will empower any church and any individual. Number six, they were positive. Now, don't take that word too far when I say positive. I will explain what I mean. <laughs> They were what? They were positive. Acts 2 47 says they were praising God. This is a simple clue to their joyful optimism. What a church. Not a people of worry or fear or pessimism. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be there are some people that are worry warriors. Mm. They worry about everything. Man, just go sack tin. Can you see? Um, can you see? Can you see? So, could you do good tin? Could you do peru? So, boy, um, um, can I see? So, good job. Ah, yes, I see. Ah, it's really like one. But when we enter, we are sassy. We are analyze. We are, we are confused. We are analyze. I saw one of them. We are busy. We are busy. We are sassy. We are going to very high. Yeah, we are going to go into. We are going into 1966. Celebrate what God is doing now in the name of Jesus. You know this one thing. Worry will never change anything in your life. If you begin to consider it, it will never change. 
anything at all in your life. So rather spending much time in worrying, spend much time in rejoicing. Find the Bible and begin to read the book of Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. As I'm being Yeah? I as a child food. The Lord in Bono to Mamma Pofias, Kadiba from Monosuki Chopper. Number one, the Lord is I how super fucking here. You could see me, see me. I see my name so can see Copa Conapan. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Let me tell you what that word means want. I shall not lack a need. I may have a need, but I know ultimately my God will supply. I shall what? Not lack a need. Verse 2. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. You can be in a desert place financially, but God can turn that desert into an oasis. Say amen. I see God coming through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Especially in the month of August, you are going to rejoice. No chakalo ano we are lie we are buya. Ebu ya we are mamanza. La umi ya denga mamanza. Uwe ziti vele mfuku kulobola. Especially na ya overseas umkapeli. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Verse 3. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Oh, I love verse 4. Say yeah. yeah. Say it again. Say yeah. yeah. One more time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow. Notice, it's not the valley of death. It's the valley of the shadow. Shadows diminish under the sunlight. The sun is Jesus. They will disappear. Say amen. I will what? Fear no evil. something we all my stories are true. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to get a little microphone. All my stories are true. So long to answer such a lawyer. When you're moving, you're sitting. You're going to be 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 sitting. So there you are. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will what? Fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Verse 5. You prepare a table for me, or before me, in the presence of my name. Hallelujah. This really has many meanings. It means that your enemies who wish you ill will be shocked. Yeah, who's have a surpriser every time. When they think you are down, you are up. When they think the enemy has put you down, they see you lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn around now, look at your neighbor and say, I see you going far this year. In the name of Jesus. I see resources coming to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. Verse 6 now. Oh, verse 5. Is that so? Surely, very 6. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me 
all the days of my life. And I will dwell at Harvest House International Church all the days of my life. Please take your seats. Let me give you three more, then we can pray. So they were positive. Mm. They were positive. Did I give you number six? Yeah, that's the number six I gave you. Eh? All right, so we're going to seven now. But I haven't finished number six. There's a scripture there. Psalm 30, verse 5b. They knew this one thing. They understood the power of the scripture. Weeping may endure for a night. Ha, ya, 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 ya. Weeping may endure for a night. Say it with me one more time. Weeping may endure for a night. But always understand that there is a better season that is yet to come in the name of Jesus. At times when you are in a bind, you may think that that's the only season that you will ever experience. Ask those that have gone through hardships. There is always a tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. There is always a tomorrow. Oh, I love you tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Because tomorrow cometh. Today may appear difficult, but tomorrow comes. Touch your neighbor's shoulder and say, tomorrow by this time. Say it one more time. Say, tomorrow by this time. I see you smiling from ear to ear. Some of you ladies that are single, hey, Look at that single lady and say, Receive that prophetic word. It will help you. Tore, tore, tore. Yes, what it is. Tore, tore. Even when. Tore, tore. Hey, hey. Babu, we have a name. May God prosper you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's deal with number seven quickly. Number seven, number seven, number seven. They were attractive. <laughs> what a church. They were very attractive. The believers in the early church were very magnetic. So when you saw them going into the house of God, you wanted to accompany them. Even if you didn't know where they were going. You hmm. have to figure out around them. We are cool, say, who shall around them? Who is giving and Jonas Funi around you? But we are about to see me do it. I want a hamper who would say soon, Jelly. Sweet talk lunch. These were winesome believers. Yeah, beautiful believers. So, just as Jesus had, they won the favor of the general public. The public loved them. Luke 2, verse 52. And Jesus increased in favor. Ah, can you smile again? In, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with man. Acts 2, 41. And those who gladly received his word were baptized. And that day about 3,000 souls were added. When the churches, all these components that we're talking about, People begin to talk. Say amen. So they never allowed the gospel message to become bad news. Never. It remained good news and attractive message. Number eight. They were very anointed. Stand again. They were anointed. These men and women were full of the dynamic life of the Holy Spirit. Saturated under the power of the Holy Spirit. 
they had these anointings that they enjoyed. They enjoyed corporate anointing, imparted anointings, anointing by association. Hey, as men go na pana, anointing by association. Wait when we are humble and engila kuzagutola. Hey, talk to your neighbor now and say, "Well, when kovulu pays wami, Luisa pays wako. I kulumani pele. I love kovu yini katibu pele kuri. Hey, what you are going to kovulu pays wami, Luisa pays wako." That's why it's very important to choose your company right. Mm -hmm. There is an anointing that comes by, I have a message, anointing by association. There is an anointing that comes just by hanging around with the right people. The right people. Ufika lawenche. Suchinchi mindset ya kwanti. Eh, unata lukangi la bantu upela la bantu. Eh, itatala milichonchi we. Ah, itatili loto. Ah, ya, ya. Setani lege itatala kelele. And hi. <laughs> Say amen. They were anointed. I will show you scriptures, therefore, that prove to the fact that these were anointed. Let's find these scriptures. Acts 2, verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 4, verse 8. And then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 6, verse 3 to 5. Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation. But watch this now. Good reputation. Full of the Holy Spirit. Full. Of the Holy Spirit. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then verse 5. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen. A man full of faith. And full of the Holy Spirit. Acts 7 verse 55. And he being full of the Holy Spirit. That's Stephen. They're stoning him. Gazed into heaven. And saw the glory. Acts 9, verse 17. And Ananias went his way and entered the house, laying his hands on him to Paul, brother Saul. The Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you came here sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 11, verse 24. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit. What are you full of? These men were full and women were full of the Holy Spirit. Acts 13, verse 52. And the disciples were what? Filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. Acts 3, verse 19. Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. So that times, wow, times of refreshing. What are times of the refreshing? When the Holy Spirit sweeps across. Times of refreshing. Lift up your hands and say, times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Number nine, they were bold. I least that's my side. I'm a total of my love. Babbing as I've been nicks. Zero. They were full of boldness. One of the characteristics or one of the symptoms rather of being filled with the Holy Spirit is not only speaking in tongues, it's boldness. When you are full of the Holy Spirit, you are so bold. You don't fear. You don't fear at all. So, look at you and say, you are so bold. You don't fear at all. These men were fearless. That's why they were persecuted. That's why most of them were martyred. But they were fearless. Why? Because they were full of the Holy Spirit. Say, Amen. It is 
boldness, boldness, boldness. Let's read X4, verse 13. I wish I had time here. Time is not on our side. X4, verse 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter, watch the scripture now. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and they perceived that they were uneducated. They knew these guys are uneducated. They're fishermen. They said, but how do we relate this boldness with this man? Why are they bold before teachers of the law? Why? They perceived that they were uneducated and they trained. Men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. Wow. Say wow. Now Lord, look on their threats. They were threatening them. Grant your servants that with all boldness that they may speak your word. We are Touch your neighbor's shoulder, please, and say, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? Acts 9, verse 27 and 29, two verses. But Barnabas took him, that is so, and brought him to the apostles. And he declared to them how he had seen the Lord on the road. And that he had spoken to him and how he had preached Boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. <laughs> it's one of the items we are praying about today that you be bold in the name of Jesus. It's covers we have a sitting in As if you go you can get stop his coat. Boldness. You and I have authority in the name of Jesus. We can cast out demons in Jesus' name. They hear the voice of Jesus that is on the inside of you. Yeah, let's practice and say, Lucifer, come out. I assume God walk away. Then the Bible says, Lucifer, come out. Lucifer, come out. In the name of Jesus, leave my family, leave my children, leave the members of my family, leave the members of this church. Go now. In the name of Jesus, Satani, Hambakachana. Yakamalagaches, <laughs> Boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus and disputed against the Hellenists, but they attempted to kill him. What a bold preacher this man was. Boldly, boldly, boldly. X 14, verse 3. They, they, for they stayed long. They a long time. Speaking how? Speaking how? In the Lord who was bearing witness to his word. X 8. 1826. So he began to speak out boldly in the synagogue. Acts 19, verse 8. And he went into the synagogue and spoke how? For how many months? Three months. Reasoning and persuading concerning the things of the kingdom of God. Acts 28, verse 11. Preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all what? That's boldness. With all what? Confidence. But watch the scripture. Proverbs 28 verse 1. The wicked flee when no one pursues them. <laughs> Touch your neighbor's shoulder and say, Who is having Tagaba? Who is having? What do you want to tell his coat? 
Finally, they were progressive. What a progressive church. God dropped and downloaded new ideas in their lives. They will never stay. They will come up with new ideas that will shock many. Because the Holy Spirit is always dynamic. Say Amen. The early church quickly broke with the standard religious conventions of the day. He broke. Because during the early church, the synagogue was the place. But they decided, you know what? We need home groups. How can I the disciple soft my home groups? I can't say we're in church. Hey, they said, hey, haven't what see a synagogue? Tina Sangene is in thing. Hey, I said, I'm in thing. I said, I'm fucking in my meeting. I said, I'm in the thing. I said, I'm in the thing. I said, I'm in the thing. I said, I'm So they met. And then they began to increase in the name of Jesus Christ. When new ideas are birthed in the spirit, the church becomes dynamite. Creative thinking was allowed as well as inventive thinking. May God change the way you think. I will come on walk with the limited. We are gone. Can Jane and Sigas is 18? Ay, 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 ask God to touch your mind. Uchene Lin and Siga. Think creatively. Utabang in Jew, Utukurukur. Breathe upon my mind. Change my mind. Lift up your hands now, touch your head. Let's start there as we pray. Say, Lord Jesus, change the way I think. Breathe upon my mind that I may think creatively in the name of Jesus. I thank you for touching me, touching my mind, downloading ideas for success in my life. Success in my businesses. Success in my everyday life. I thank you, Lord, for that grace that is upon me. I refuse to have a darkened mind. I refuse to have a fearful mind. I refuse to lack capacity in my thinking. I declare today, increase my capacity to think. May I think like Solomon, who was a marine engineer, a botanist, a songwriter, a dramatist, and all other things. Increase my capacity in the name of Jesus. May I think big. May many come and say, What type of a person is this? Where do you get your ideas? Even at workplace, may I contribute positively in the name of Jesus. Take away all limitations in my life in the name of Jesus. May I think so broadly. Allow the Holy Spirit to infuse and inject Himself into my mind in the name of Jesus. I am not limited in my thinking. All darkness flees and the light of God shines upon my mind in the name of Jesus. Turn around and say, neighbor, you are such an intelligent person. I've never seen an intelligent. Even if you look all level, Kalisa Konaput, you are very intelligent. Prayer items, please, they are coming through there while you stand prayer items. Yes, we read that script. Next one with another one. Start lock hands and say, I'm starting with you. You are praying for them, they are praying for you. But you are praying as well. Two things, you are praying for them, they pray for you. Pray for the whole church.
yourself rather and say, I'm sorry and so. We're so glad that you are in this place. You pray for them, they will pray for you. Pray for each other. Don't spit on each other. Just look aside. But please, Lina, I could write again. Yeah, let's pray. Dear God, we are praying for strong relationships in this house. Oh God, that we be one accord, that will identify many that you bring to us here, that will love them, that will embrace them, that will seek to know them that will seek to greet them, that will seek to befriend them. Dear God, God of mercy, do a new thing in our midst. May joy well up in this house as never before. May the joy of the Lord be our portion. The joy of the Lord be our strength in the name of Jesus. May the strength of the Lord be our life. One accord is what we declare. One accord, one accord. You state in your word, behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity. It is like indeed oil that will come down from Aaron's head, down his beard. It is there where you command a blessing. We release, Lord, that spirit of relationships, sharing all things in the name of Jesus Christ. May your grace abound. May your grace increase in the name of Jesus. Increase us in this area of relationships. Deep relationships. Meaningful relationships. Caring for one another. Loving one another. Embracing one another. Looking out for each other. In the name of Jesus. Oh, may your grace abound. In Jesus' mighty name. May your grace abound. In Jesus' name, say Amen. Now you are not leaving that point without practicing it. Yeah, let go of those hands that you are holding. Find someone you don't know, introduce yourself to them. And just say, Umuban, Minang Sorenso, Nisevenza Mapingap, Nishala Mapingap. End there. Uh, say, What's your name? Say, I've always wanted to talk to you. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? People are lonely in churches. We want to make a difference. What is your name? Don't say you are legion. You are not legion. What is your name? Where do you stay? What do you do? Are you working? What is your name? Where do you live? Do you have any brothers and sisters? Any siblings? Any brothers and sisters? Why don't you invite them to church? Why don't you bring them to church? Talk to them. They need to know you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God of grace and mercy. Number two, number two, number two, number two. Find someone there. Maybe that person you have been talking to is the person that you are going to pray with now. Don't leave them there. Pray for vibrancy in our Christian lives. May God stay you up. May God create vibrancy in your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we pray for vibrancy? In Jabulo J. Joy is contagious. It's an emotion that is contagious. If I come with my joy and you come with your sadness, I can tell you my joy will overcome your sadness. Pray for them for joy and they will pray for you and pray for the whole church. Pray for them for joy. They will pray for you. I didn't say joy, this joy, but pray for them for joy. They will pray for you for their joy. And then pray for the whole church. Shall we pray? Father, we know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. The strength of the Lord is our life. Thank you for that joy that brings victory. Thank you for that joy that brings triumph. Ah, dear God, your joy strengthens us. Your joy fills us. Your joy saturates us. Oh, God of mercy, 
in the name of Jesus. Oh, dear God, dear God, the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord. Let that joy fill us. Let that joy saturate our minds. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. We honor you for the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord to fill this house. In the name of Jesus Christ. The joy of the Lord to fill this house. In Jesus' name. May the joy of the Lord be contagious. May men and women be affected by that joy. Oh, the joy, the joy, the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. Hey, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And the strength of the Lord is my life. The joy that will lift you up. The joy that will change your mindset. The joy that will cause you to see the future in a better way. May that joy be your portion. In the name of Jesus. The joy, the joy, the joy. The joy of the Lord. Hey. May that joy tumble forth out of you. In the name of Jesus. Number three. Find a new partner. Number three. Pray for focused minds and spirits. Focused minds. But you are focusing on Jesus. Uh, stop focusing on Satan. Lama Timon. When you focus on something, that something becomes bigger. If you focus on your lack of resources, you will find that you won't come out of that. Focus on Jesus. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Focus on Jesus. Hallelujah. Focus on who? Jesus. Focus on him. And they continued steadfastly. Be steadfast concerning the things of God. So you are praying that they will focus on Jesus. They are praying for you. But pray as well for the whole church. Father, here we are. We are those that will continue steadfastly in the teachings of the word of God. We look unto you, the greater one. We look unto you, the mighty God. We look unto you, the everlasting Father. We look unto you, the God of Abraham. The God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, our God. Father, we know that as we fix our gaze upon you, everything around us grows strangely dear. God of mercy, God of grace, help us to focus on Jesus. There are many things that will seek to steal our attention, but we refuse. We choose to focus on Jesus. We choose to focus on Jesus. Fixing our eyes upon Jesus. Fixing our eyes upon Jesus. We fix our eyes upon Jesus. May you be magnified, Lord Jesus, in our lives. May you be increased in our lives. Certainly you are bigger than our problems. And therefore when we look to you, oh, you are magnified. You are magnified. You are magnified. Dear God, dear God, we are focusing on your word. We are focusing on fellowship. We are focusing on prayer. We are focusing on covenant bills. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Put your hands together on number three. Find another partner now. We are praying for an unselfish spirit to dominate our lives. And I'll show you what to do here. Find partner number three. Uh, four. Partner number four. Yeah. Say, I don't know you. Please don't be offended. Mm. Yeah. But I know that every human being is selfishness in them. So I'm going to rebuke selfishness inside of you. Yeah. So I'm going to pray and break that inside of you. You are selfish. You are a You smile. You are a handshake. You are a So all these things put together, if we were to summarize you, we are a man. So rebuke that spirit. Don't even joke around. Yeah, don't yeah, just say, I know it's there. And rebuke it. 
rebuke this selfish spirit in them and release the spirit of selflessness in the name of Jesus. Now all who believed were together and do all things in common. Let's pray. Father, I want to deal with the spirit of selfishness. Selfishness that lies in me, that is dormant in me. I break its hold over my life, over my mind, over my spirit, over my soul. It is no part in my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray for a generous mind, generous spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you teach me to be a giver. Teach me to sow, sow seeds in every season, in season, out of season. May I see needs and meet them in the name of Jesus. Give me such a grace, a grace that abounds, a grace that believes in soul. I pray for this church, that this church will be a giving church, giving to one another, giving to you in the name of Jesus. Release such a grace in our midst. Release such an anointing in our midst. An anointing to soul. An anointing to bless others. An anointing to give. Oh, gracious God, may that anointing flow in our midst. In the name of Jesus, oh God of grace, that wherever I see a need, I will be able to meet that need. In Jesus' mighty name, oh dear God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me in this regard. In the name of Jesus Christ, say Amen. Say these words, spirit of stinginess, you are broken in my life. In Jesus' name, I will respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit pertaining giving. Where you prompt me to give, I will give without hesitation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Chinese answers isn't getting away with cleaner. Number five. Pray for increased anointing. Find the fifth partner. Pray for increased anointing. Pray that they will be anointed in Jesus' name. Pray that they will be full of the Holy Spirit. Saturated in the Spirit. Full, full, full. You pray for them, they pray for you, pray for the whole church. Let's pray. Father, we are praying that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will fill this place. In the name of Jesus, fill this place with your anointing. Fill this place with your anointing. Oh, dear God, saturate us with your great anointing. May your presence, your Holy Spirit, times of refreshing be upon us. In the name of Jesus, times of refreshing be upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, anoint us anew, anoint us afresh. In the name of Jesus, it is the anointing that makes a difference in our lives.